Hey friends, what's up? It's April. Today I'm doing a belated July wrap up. I almost considered not doing a wrap up because all of the books that I read except one I talked about in readathon videos, but I figured to make this a little bit different, I'm going to start with the book that I liked the least, working up to the book that I liked the most. So my least favourite book this month was the book that I DNF'd, so I did not finish it, and that is Arabian Nights. This is a collection of fairy tales and I read about five of these. Some of them were really really long and some of them were quite short but I just I've decided that fairy tales just aren't for me. I much prefer them in Disney movie form or something like that but I just I'm just not a fan of fairy tales. I find some of them to be very bizarre and strange and not in a good way and a lot of them are quite preachy and I don't know I'm just not a fan so Next I'm going to talk about The Beautiful Cassandra by Jane Austen. This is a little black classic. It is number 33 and it is a collection of Jane Austen's short stories and such that she wrote when she was a teenager. Honestly didn't enjoy this very much. I thought it was quite boring and bland and just not your typical Jane Austen that you would expect to find and I just didn't really enjoy it. Skim read most of it. 2 out of 5 stars. Another 2 out of 5 stars is Ella Enchanted by Gail Carson Levine, one that I was very surprised to find that I hated it. <laughs> I just, I found this book incredibly frustrating and it contained my most hated trope of all time and I just really didn't enjoy it. I was frustrated the whole time. I think I would have enjoyed this a lot more if I had read it when I was younger. Moving on to my three star reads, we have Another Night in Mullet Town by Stephen Herrick and I was sent this by UQ Press and this is a book told in verse. It's Australian YA and it had very realistic characters I did find but I just, it wasn't memorable in any way and I feel like the plot could have been way more exciting. Then we have a book that I don't own and that is The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This was a reread for me. I read it for the first time five years ago in grade 12 for English class and I hated it the first time I read it. Um, this time I didn't hate it but I still don't love it. I gave it a three out of five stars. Um, I, I understand it's a very clever piece of literature um, how F. Scott Fitzgerald managed to capture um, how superficial people are and everything but I just I didn't enjoy it I was listening to the audiobook of it sometimes and I just found myself zoning out because it just wasn't keeping my attention I was honestly just bored reading it um but I can definitely appreciate it as a piece of work then we have Lady Susan by Jane Austen which is a collection of letters about Lady Susan and she is probably the most horrible manipulative woman on the planet and she goes to stay with some family and causes a lot of trouble. I actually really did enjoy this and I wanted to read it so that I could see the movie Love and Friendship which was a hilarious movie by the way I loved it um yeah but this itself I mean it's only short it's it's no pride and prejudice um but it was enjoyable and contained lots of witty Jane Austen humour that you would expect. So I gave it 3 out of 5 stars. My next favourite was Anne of Windy Poplars by L.M. Montgomery. And this is the fourth book in the Anne of Green Gables series, which I'm really loving reading for the first time. Um, but this wasn't my favourite in the series. I ended up giving it a 3 stars as well. And that's just because I felt like nothing really happened in here. I was just waiting her to get back to Green Gables and see her old friends again and see Gilbert again um, and it was just kind of boring really. I feel like this entire book wasn't really necessary but I still love Anne's character and I gave it three out of five stars. Moving on to my only 3.5 star read of the month and that is The Night is Darkening Round Me by Emily Bronte and this is a collection of her poetry. This is another little black classic, it's number 63 and I am not a fan of poetry. I, I just, I don't really like it but Emily Bronte's poetry is absolutely haunting. You read it and you just get shivers down your spine. I mean, it is just 
beautiful. I did only give it 3.5 stars because, as I said, I don't normally like poetry and I liked some more than others. Um, but I definitely recommend checking this out if you're a poetry fan or if you're a classics fan. Moving on to my four star reads. My least favourite four star read of the month was Persepolis by Marjane Satrapi and this is a graphic memoir all about Marjane's experiences um, growing up in Iran during the Islamic Revolution and I found this absolutely fascinating and I learnt so much. Um, I loved the way it was told, it was just simple black and white but it was so effective and it just kept me hooked and I wanted to know what was happening and I found her story just really really interesting. And I loved seeing the comparison in Iran to living in Austria which are completely different cultures and lifestyles. However I wanted more, I feel like it ended quite abruptly and I realised it's a graphic memoir um, but I just, I don't know, I just ended very abruptly and I wanted to know what happened after the end, you know? Next we have The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. This is the first book in the Deanna Madden series. It follows a very interesting woman who has locked herself inside her apartment for the last three years because she has homicidal tendencies and she just gets that urge sometimes to kill people. So she's locked herself up, um, she works as an online cam girl and through this line of work she discovers some really creepy things that make her want to investigate a case of a missing child. So it's very very intriguing, thrilling, I just, I kept, I read this entire thing in a day because I was so hooked I wanted to know what was happening. Um, I did have a couple of issues with it, with the writing, I feel like the first half was quite slow moving and I just wanted things to you know start happening um, but overall I really enjoyed it and I definitely will be continuing on with the series. Then we have We Should All Be Feminists by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie and this is basically a written form of a TED talk that she gave back in 2012 all about feminism and growing up in Nigeria and it was really 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 interesting, very powerful um, a great introduction to feminism and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars and I really want to read her fiction. I just, I have heard it is fantastic. So if you can recommend me which book of hers to start with, that would be great. My last 4 star read of the month and my favourite 4 star read of the month was Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by John Tiffany and Jack Thorne. It's a script of the Cursed Child play um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I have an entire video of um, the unboxing party and how I was on TV for it and my initial thoughts after reading the book. I loved it but I did have a couple of issues with it as I think many people have but you just need to take into consideration that this is basically a fanfic. I mean it's not uh, it's not written by JK Rowling um, and it does have its flaws but it was amazing being back in this world, being back with some of my favourite characters and finding new favourite characters and it was glorious. So I definitely want to reread this soon because I feel like I sped through it so quickly and I just, uh, I don't know, I really want to read it again um, so I can sort of get my thoughts together about it I guess, but yeah. Moving on to my only 4.5 star read of the month and that is Monster Volume 1 by Naoki Urasawa and this is volumes 1 and 2 of a manga following a doctor and a serial killer. So basically uh, this Japanese doctor, he is working in Germany and one day he goes against his um, chief's orders when they bring in a mayor who has had a heart attack I think and they order him to you know leave whatever people he's working on now and save the mayor but he decides to save a child instead that took a bullet to the brain and he you know he was like the kid was here first he is a kid and I can save him so he decides to save the kid instead and then the kid and his twin sister go missing from the hospital after he has had his surgery and years later strange things start happening and I'm not going to say anything else 
just read this. It is completely and utterly captivating. I could not put it down. It was so thrilling and I can't wait to continue on with this series. I absolutely loved it. My only five star read of the month and my favourite book of the month was Saga Volume 6 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staple. I love this comic series so much. It gives me so much joy and I just absolutely adored this volume. I mean, I can't not give this five stars because of the feels it gave me and some of the quotes that just really hit home for me. And I'm just, I am so invested in this story and these characters. And I highly recommend this series if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, but fair warning, it contains very graphic adult content. But yes, five stars, <laughs> so good. So there you have it. These are all the books I read in July from least favorite to favorite. Let me know if you've read any of these down below and I will see you soon with a new video. Goodbye!